Good afternoon and welcome to Art 1800. Today I'm outside the Transart lift, which takes you all the way up to the Col de la Chale, giving access to pretty much every corner of Les Arcs, and it's surprisingly quiet. It's Christmas week, so we're all feeling pretty festive, and the weather is too. Uh, we've had a few clear days, but this has been followed by what is essentially pretty overcast weather and a lot of snow. The snow is going to continue to come for the next few days, certainly up until the weekend, ensuring that although the base layer is currently about a metre in Arc 1600, it is two metres at the top of the Agel Rouge, but that's just going to keep on rising while this snow comes down. Fortunately, the, uh, the pieces out there are fantastic at the moment, so let's go and have a look at some footage of that. To be honest, although the snow conditions are exemplary at present, the weather clearly is not. We're expecting the visibility to be fairly sketchy up until the weekend. That's not to say the sun will be completely absent from our lives, but its influence is likely to be intermittent at best. Typically, the pistes are fairly smooth with a decent layer of soft snow on top. This layer will increase in areas with low traffic, especially whilst the fresh powder snow keeps falling. Before this current influx of snow, the pistes look a lot like this, although conditions will continue to develop over the next few days whilst we get more centimetres of snow. The good news, however, is without any easily discernible video, it gives me a chance to give you my top tips on riding in times of low visibility. Make sure you take the right equipment with you. Wear your low light goggles so that you can see when the visibility is like this. Don't just wear white clothing. If you're wearing white salopettes and a white jacket, no one's going to see you out on the piste as you blend into the snow. If you can get hold of a cheap bike light or a flashing running belt thing like I have, that will also make you more visible. And if you're leading a group of friends, they'll be able to see you out front. Or for those people who aren't part of your group, they'll be able to spot you before they hit you. Last of all, take some restraint with you. There's no point hurtling along when conditions are like this. You never know what's around the next corner. So just take it easy and give yourself plenty of time to make sudden changes of speed or direction. Next up, try and ride in places which are conducive to low light riding. Anywhere there's a lot of tree lined runs is a good option. Somewhere like Paisley Velondry, perhaps the Mont Blanc run coming down into Arc 1600 and also the lac run going into Arc 2000. Sometimes, if you keep taking lifts upwards, you can break free of the cloud and get into pure sunshine above. So that's always worth a try. Other times, you can get below the cloud and even find that the sun breaks through there. Finally, I have two major top tips for when the weather is inclement and you can't see where you're going. Firstly, You've probably noticed that some piste markers have a little orange top on them. The orange top piece markers are the ones that should be on your right hand side. Those piece markers without an orange top should be on your left hand side. So if you're really confused which way is up, the orange markers should be on your right hand side. And last of all, just get out there. When the snow's coming down, the pistes are often a lot quieter. And also, you've got fresh snow underneath your feet. Just go and enjoy it, but stay safe. So, I think it's pretty safe to say that if you like snow, you like skiing, you like snowboarding, and you like the Alps, you should be in Les Arc right now. However, if you can't be out there this week, come next week, or the week after. We'll see you soon, and I'll see you next week for another snow report.